Well, hello and welcome to Pirivars Fiskefrur. Today we're gonna have fun. We're gonna tie a fun backtail deceiver. Backtail, not backtail. <laughs> uh, it's a very fun fly to tie and I'm, I'm excited to show you. It's a colorful fly and it looks very nice in your box and in the water. And it fishes very well. So, well, Let's get on with the tying then, okay? Well, now I'm gonna take a little tour and tell you what materials I've been using for tying this fly. First of all, the main material is yellow bucktail. Looks like this. It's not a very big bucktail, but it's okay. And I use this hook for the tying. Allen fly fishing, bass bug. B200 size 2 and uh, well and I got some uh, GSP thread 50 denier I don't know where it's from but that's not the case like this and I use uh, for the top I use uh, gray night night is a, a Icelandic sheep I think you can use other kind of sheep if you want, if you have some straight hair sheep. And on the bottom I use this uh, orange knight. And uh, for the gills I use no uh, reddish, reddish orange uh, colored uh, arctic fox I have. And I have as well uh, the glue I've been using is uh, Termender to shape the head. I use uh, liquid fusion to put on the eyes. I think you can use this for shaping the head as well, but I'm not sure. And for coating the eyes, I use this Gorilla Glue in clear very nice product and I use uh, for the flash in this fly pearl web from fly Tires dungeon fantastic uh, flash and it's cheap and I use this uh, gold and black uh, five millimeters flat eyes nice did I forget anything I can tell a little about uh, the coloration of this fly. I use uh, two uh, markers. I use this uh, black Prismacolor instant marker to darken the top. And I use this uh, pro marker in orange color to enhance the color sides of this fly. And of course, I use some uh, dumbing needles, a scissor, and a little comb. And I have this little push tool from Stonefall. I'm not quite sure if it, if it is a push tool, but I use it as a push tool. We have other type of materials that uh, uh, tools that are more used. And I use this small clip to hold the flies in place I got a lot of them it's cheap I got them free for uh, on the flower shop well that's all the materials and all the tools of course I uh, use my Dyna King Weiss if anybody was wondering about that all the materials and all the tools I've been using for this fly well Get on with the tying then. Okay, let's have fun. Let's start tying. Okay, you see, this is the finished fly we're gonna tie. This is how it looks, hopefully, when we're done. So, well, I just uh, start with taking this fly out of the vise and putting in a new one. You hook in the vise 
and you have the hook here Allen fly fishing hook size 2 bass bug large hook gap it stays there just fine and you find some thread I'm going to be using GSP thread attach the thread and take a scissor and snip off this waist go down the hook shank like this about there and find the bucktail I use a yellow bucktail for this base you find the uh, just little place back there take off a little clump and take off the shortest fiber and uh, make a little tail of it like this snip off the waist some wrappings just push down on it to make it wrap around the hook control it, it looks nice and attach it securely like this and take some pearl web from fly ties dungeon snip off a little waist sorry a little clump i like tying these flies very fun and measure out how long you want it like this moisten it a little bit tie it in about 60-40 you can taper it a little bit like this tie it up on the top sorry like this just double it over and just you use your thumb just to make it go around about it yes now touch this and go forwards about there and take another clump another clump yes and we take another clump as i said repeatedly <laughs> snip it off about the same place as i took the other one measure out take out the shortest fiber there's not all the fibers but some of the shortest measure out about that i want it to stay there go there measure out taper it touch it and use your thumb and forefinger just to go around the hook like that check it oh yeah very nice and then there's time for some glue take a little piece this liquid liquid fusion it's a very nice glue very durable and start on with the go on and take another clump
take out the shortest fiber again and taper it like this and uh, attach it to the hook and distribute it around the hook like this and see now there is a time for some more flash take a little piece of flash snip off try not to cut my fingers moisten it measure out about that 60 40 again taper it a little bit go around the hook and distribute it See now the taper is already there, but now I'm gonna take one more bundle and I'm gonna reverse tie it because I want to make some bulk in front so it has some more bulk. Measure out how long you want it, like that. Snip off the waist. Turn this bundle around in your hand, attach it, do the same again, make sure it goes around the hook, and before you start wrapping it over each other, you can take some more glue. this and take your push tool I have a little push tool from stone for here can just make the job a little easier for the push tool just like this just take the bundles and make a little wrappings like that now see you can just make a little pressure on it and you see the flare is coming and now i take my fox this is a red orange fox i make it on each side to make a illusion of the gills of this fly take one piece on this side Place it onto there. Just wrap it around itself to make it stay there. And take another piece. This is a fox I dyed myself. It's Arctic fox. I dyed dyed it uh, salmon pink, but the color turns out to be a little more than red and salmon, but uh, why not? I can, st I can use it. Just do the same as last time. Wrap it over itself like this. Make it go there. Wrap over and take some more glue and proceed just go for forward I'm finished with the fox now I'll put it aside and take some more bucktail more bucktail 
it's coming right up coming right up and take out the shortest fiber again measure out and take another another reverse tie make it go there pinch and wrap like this use your thumb and the forefinger check it out all righty then very nice indeed very nice oh it's a lot of glue that's okay that's okay just push it aside use your push tool and use your thread this is 50 deniers GSP because this flies a little smaller than the pike flies and perch flies that people usually are using the thick 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 um, GSP for sorry about that <laughs> and I just now take well shall I take a little more of this bucktail again this is the last bundle I use on bucktail and I wanna just no reverse tie on this just measure out how long you want it like this and just push it around the hook make it go around where you want it use your fingers push it around make it go just where you want it and uh, you can just also push this a little downwards if you not happy with it stays now I wanna clean up a little bit because there is gonna oh almost snipped my thread there I don't want to do that that's a disaster well just attach it was a lot of gills on this fly well now I take two materials first I take one I take one orange night on top and sorry <laughs> orange night at bottom and for the belly and some gray night on top I start with the top. Take a little piece like this. Sorry about the confusion about the top and bottom. But, but, measure out how long I want it. And I can, if I want, make some more flash on it. But, uh, I don't think it's necessary. I think I have another not a lot of flash in this fly. Like this. And uh, I can taper it. Just pull on this. Make a little taper on this. To make it It's a bit um, training to do this. I think that's okay. 
I hope that's okay. 60, 40 about. But right. All the way to the Hokkaid. We go. Maybe I should tie it in a little closer to the Hokkaid. I think that. Just lift it up and go a little closer to the Hokkaid. Like this. I touch it. Now it's looking more like I fig figure it out in my head. And I turn this hook around. Take a little piece of uh, of the um, belly here. Like this. Uh, Maybe just a little past the, past the hook bend. Snip it off. Um, take a little taper on it. Just drag the fibers to make a taper. Like this. Ah, well, a little longer. Uh, well, now I take my glue and put a little dab on the insertion pointer and use some wrappings and make a whip finish prefer prefer i prefer the hand whip finish because i got more control than with the whip finish tool and now i snip off the thread because I'm done with the thread now. Flip it around and I take take this around. Make sure that uh, all the fibers is going the right way. See now they can take out this short one. That doesn't matter. And you see now, I take the tear mender and I make a little clean up the nozzle of the bottle. Like this, and shake it out. It drips like I want it to do, and have this clip small flower clip or hair clip just take it out to put it on the flies like this and just uh, use your little dab this is uh, gonna make you shape the head take you can now take the clip off and make the shaping of the head is more easy maybe I put a clip on a little more just to make it stay there a little getting quite quite hard this glue is gonna disappear just make it 
something like this. You can use your comb just to comb, up, comb the fibers together. Use a little persuasion. Make your try to shape it a little more. Now I take to put on some ice. I use these five millimeters flat ice because they're most more solid. And I take use liquid fusion for this. A little dab of there, and also on the other side. That's the glue I use for ice. And then you said dubbing needle just to peel it off the board with the paper or whatever. Put it on. You can use the needle just to shape the little head a little more. I like, like liquid fusion. Some use some other glues, but uh, there is a lot of uses for liquid fusion. And put on the second eye like this. You can use your fingers to manipulate it. See how it's getting there. And I want the top to be a little more, well, a little darker. So I take this uh, black instant marker and I use the broad tip on this. And I use the top, make the top a little darker. Collect the fibers in your hand and use your tip of the marker just to mark to darken this a little bit because that makes the fly, I think. When the glue is dry, you can even get some more. And if you want to enhance the orange on the side, you can also use some orange marker. I tend to use that sometimes. See, it's getting there. Now, this fly is going to take it out of the vise just to control where the eyes are sitting like this and I get a, get some get it to cure some minutes and you can also cover this ice. I tend to use some, uh, some drop of this. This is Gorilla Glue and I uh, take some of the glue and just uh, put it on a piece of paper or uh, the bag I have the, my uh, hooks in. Just a little dab on it. I take my dubbing needle, take some on my dubbing needle and coat the eyes. See 
you know this go gonna cure on my dryer I have a dryer that I put this flies on it's a little bit too should I take more glue out of the bottle try to avoid the hairs in the glue This, this um, glue is very flexible, so this ice is never going to come off. Just have to add some more glue to this pl plastic bag. Just to. This is clear and toxic free. I really do like this glue. It don't harden in a bottle as well. Uh, that's the case with. Um, all other glues I've been using. Now I take this fly and put to the dryer and um, just like it, make it like it stays there. And you have, of course, when you have this water treatment on this fly, it's gonna look like this just about like this this is a more fatter version that I've just been tying but that's uh, that's a matter of taste I guess uh, that could uh, depend on uh, how much uh, materials I was putting on the first time and and so on and uh, but you see if you have the water t uh, water treatment you have this uh, uh, teardrop shape on it it looks very nice and I am sure you will be happy with it so that's all I had uh, today and I hope you enjoyed this uh, little fly tying session so uh, I thank you all for watching my video and uh, please do subscribe it will make me very happy and uh, hit the notification bell and will always get the latest videos from me Bye bye and tight lines. Mm -hmm.